Consumer inflation in June dropped to 5.1%, the lowest level in 2024, according to Stats SA. Moreover, housing and utilities rose by 5.5% and goods and services by 7%. Economists anticipated the slight easing, with inflation expected to hover around 5% in the coming months. Additionally, the South African Reserve Bank predicts a 4.9% headline consumer inflation rate for 2024, down from 6% in 2023. Evan BC senior economist Koketsu Manu provides an overview on the latest Stats SA CPI figures. We are seeing uh, relative stability in the headline inflation numbers, especially over the past three months. Uh, the data that has been released by SSSA is showing that in the month of June, headline inflation settled at 5.1%, slightly down from 5.2% in May. On a month-on-month -month basis, um, we did see inflation of 0.1%. Uh, the upside was provided by core and food inflation, uh, but there was a downside that was provided by fuel deflation. Starting off with core, uh, that number uh, posted 4.5%, slightly down from 4.6% previously, but we did have monthly pressure of 0.4%, which was driven by housing as well as household content. Um, meanwhile, fuel inflation, uh, especially on a month-on-month -month basis, was negative at 4.6%. Um, on a year-on-year -year basis, however, we did see 7.6% compared to June of 2023. Um, however, it is a deceleration from the 9.3% that was recorded in May. Uh, lastly, food and non-alcoholic beverages inflation uh, recorded 4.6%, slightly down from 4.7% previously. Uh, but we did see monthly pressure there starting to pick up. It recorded 0.5% um, and was driven by bread and cereals, non-alcoholic beverages as well as dairy and eggs. Um, but uh, vegetables did, um, you know, post negative inflation and detracted from that monthly pressure. Um, going into the month of July, we should see uh, this stability continuing. We will, however, see monthly pressure starting to pick up. Uh, especially with that uh, survey outcome on uh, utility costs. And also, uh, as I've mentioned, uh, food price pressures are seemingly starting to lift. Uh, so that's just something to, to bear in mind. However, fuel once again should detract from that monthly pressure as we had um, that one rand, around one rand per litre decrease uh, in petrol prices. Um, the other positive that we should bear in mind is that, you know, um, Forecasts for headline inflation are starting to be scaled down, and we saw that with the Reserve Bank's forecast as well. Um, this is showing us a combination of slowing global inflation, you know, uh, stronger rand, um, stable oil prices.